In Germany, prostate cancer is the most common type of cancer in men. Therefore, insurance companies pay for patients over 45 years of age to be examined by a urologist, a rectal examination. However, you can only palpate those tumors that are adjacent to the intestinal wall and are larger than one centimeter. If palpation reveals suspicious changes, then the cancer, as a rule, is no longer at an early stage. Conversely, not every palpable change is cancerous. Therefore, as part of early detection, in addition to palpation, a blood test for prostate-specific antigen is performed. It is important to know that an increase in antigen levels can be a consequence not only of the presence of a cancerous tumor, but also of other processes, for example, benign enlargement of the prostate or its inflammation, prostatitis. In addition, the prostate reacts to pressure, and irritants such as cycling, straining for constipation, horse riding, or palpating the prostate during a checkup may temporarily increase prostate-specific antigen levels. In Germany there are specialized centers for prostate cancer. There, a biopsy sample is taken using the so-called, fusion biopsy. This requires special technology. A three-dimensional image is formed from the ultrasound image in real time, which is combined with data obtained by MRI. This gives the doctor the opportunity to specifically take samples from suspicious areas. Independent studies have shown that fusion biopsy provides an advantage in detecting clinically significant tumors in the prostate gland. At the same time, thanks to an accurate assessment of the significance of changes detected in the prostate, the number of unnecessary interventions and the associated risks and costs is significantly reduced. Prostate cancer is often asymptomatic for a long time, and its complete cure is possible only at an early stage when the tumor has not yet spread beyond the organ and has not metastasized. When they talk about a complete cure for prostate cancer, this means surgical removal of the prostate and seminal vesicles, as well as, as a rule, nearby lymph nodes or irradiation of the tumor. Modern surgical techniques reduce the risk of complications. For example, robot-assisted surgery reduces the risk of urinary incontinence or loss of erectile function. Irradiation can be carried out externally, the so-called, percutaneous radiation therapy, or from the inside, brachytherapy, when tiny, grains, radiation sources, are placed into the gland itself. Sometimes combined treatment is performed. Due to the fact that prostate cancer grows under the influence of the male sex hormone, testosterone, patients previously underwent surgery to remove the testicles. Today. Medications are prescribed that suppress testosterone production or block the action of testosterone. They have the same effect as surgical removal of the testicles, but their effect is reversible. Such anti-hormonal therapy as the only method of treatment can be used in elderly patients or in the presence of severe concomitant diseases that prevent radical treatment. If prostate cancer does not respond to anti-hormonal therapy, chemotherapy may be prescribed, medications that suppress the growth and division of cancer cells. They are prescribed courses, monitoring the situation in the intervals between courses. In addition to chemotherapy with cytostatic drugs, targeted therapy with drugs that interfere with certain metabolic mechanisms of malignant cells is also currently used. Methods such as cold therapy, cryotherapy, heat therapy, hypothermia, high-frequency radiotherapy, high-intensity focused ultrasound therapy, laser therapy are not standard and are used as experimental and in clinical studies.